Doctor attend to you. I just stop by and see how you're doing. Hey. You feeling any pain? I'm a little sleepy. The nurse gave me a shot. Oh, don't fight it. Listen, after everything you've been through, you deserve all the sleep you can get. Did you see him? Yep. Isn't he beautiful? He's gorgeous, just like his mama. Now close your eyes. Go to sleep. Ted, um, we should talk. No. Yes. No, we, we need, need to, to talk no, about need to what sleep. happened. Listen. I went by the nursery last night to meet Junior. And I had a long talk. Turns out we like the same things, like chicken fingers and his mama. He's a real intelligent kid. He's got great taste. He's the best little boy that ever was. Yeah. He's a real winner. like a little kid. Not a care in the world. Just the way it should be. Dixie, what am I going to do with you? You know, maybe my mom's right. Maybe I am crazy. Well, I got to get back to my room they're going to be checking the spoons soon. And if I'm not in my cell, my father's promised to have me fixed. So I'll see you later. She may be asleep. I wouldn't wonder after all she's been through. Well, she is. I'll just leave this. Not so good. What happened? Pneumonia, fever, respiratory distress. Antibiotics? Yes, but the baby's not responding. It's having a good deal of trouble breathing. Is Dixie asleep? Soundly. Oh, thank heaven. I mean, I hate agreeing with anything that Adam Chandler says. But in this case, I think it is better that Dixie not know. I don't want Tad to know either. Absolutely not. Yeah. It's so involved with this baby. Yeah. The last thing I want is any more problems between Adam and my son. We won't breathe a word. Well, let's just pray that the baby starts responding. Well, let me tell you something. Dixie couldn't take it if anything happened to that child. Well, we wanted to come and see you first. Oh. And you look very rested. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks. I've been sleeping. I feel pretty wonderful. Especially knowing that my old baby's doing so well. Especially for an early bird. Well, we have a welcoming present. Oh, yeah. Um, and if you hate it, you can throw it away and then we'll get you another one. Oh, I hate it. I want you to hate it. Like, Lord, it's huge. Well, ah. David wanted one for himself. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> like it's oh. a little cloud. <laughs> so wonderful. Oh, can't you just see his little hands reaching up? 
I'm just gonna cry. Me too. Oh God, women. Oh, you just <laughs> shut up. Wait till you see this baby. You'll just bawl your eyes out. Oh, I got an idea. Let's go see him. And no, you don't. Oh, yes, no, Daddy. Oh, you no. come out of the oh, ooh, I'm don't fine. I can get up. Dixie, you should wait for the uh, nurse to come. Oh, come those on. poor overworked nurses. Are you kidding? Uh, you want to give them a hard time? Here, give me a little. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> Besides, the doctor said that I should get up just as soon as I can. And I can. See? I'm fine. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> No, I want to see this baby. I can make it to the nursery. Okay. Sleeve, sleeve. I just need a little help. Well, you got it. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. You want to give me an arm? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget that. He's got to see that. <laughs> We've really got to stop meeting this way. Oh, that message. Yes. I'm not a man to mess with, Mark. Neither am I. And from where I stand, I owe you. But I guess under the present circumstances, I've got to cut you some slack. You're responsible for the present circumstances. Give me a break. Who do you think you're talking to? We both know that I care more about your wife and your child more than you ever possibly could. Boo. You make me sick, you know that? You're nothing but a giant ego. All you give a damn about is, is what you want and what you need and what you think you have to have. You don't care anything about Dixie. That's a lie. Is it? Yes. Is that why you sent two guys over to my house to beat me up and steal those tapes out of Because it was a lie? All that stuff about you leaving Dixie a buck and a quarter in your will and telling Stuart that you wanted to marry her for the baby, that you wanted Brooke, was that all a lie? As far as I'm concerned, you're the liar here and I'm the only person that knows the truth. That to you, Dixie and her baby are nothing but possessions like some kind of filly in a prize foal. Shut up. How long Shut before up. you kick her out, huh? You gonna wait till after the baby's weaned at him? Is that what you're gonna do? I'll tell you something. You're never gonna get sole custody of that child as long as you I... You could be dying right now. What? Mm -hmm. Right now, my son is lying in the nursery fighting for every breath and he may not make it. What did you say? You said he no. was going to be all right. No, 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 no. He's going to be all right. He will be all right. He's, he's, he's weak. He's having a little trouble breathing, but it'll go away. It, it, it... My baby. Well, I, I have to go to him. I, I have to be with him. He needs me. No, no, oh, no. Baby, he's got to be so scared. Not right now. No, no. Adam's right. You need your rest. My baby needs wait, me. Wait, I'm wait, going. Wait. No, I'm wait, going. Wait, I'll go with you then. He needs us both. No, don't. I won't interfere. Oh, well, it seems that you have already. Really? Well, Palmer, for once in your manipulative life, maybe you should do a little interfering. Exactly what is your interest in Dixie? I don't desert my friends when they're in trouble. And right now, nobody's in bigger trouble than your niece. Away from that. One minute. I'll give you one minute, and then you are yeah, going... Yeah, I know, I know, Angie. Back to solitary. It's okay, sweetheart. Mama's here. Yeah. And Daddy's here. <laughs> See? He's gonna make it all right. The good Lord is looking down on you and saying, Oh, hush now, baby. Don't worry. All the love that your mama and daddy are going to give you are going to make it okay. It's right. You listen to your mama. Nothing's going to happen to you. We won't let it. That's right. We will not. You give my sunshine. You want my sunshine. You're my only sunshine. That's right. You make me happy. 
When the skies are gray. Oh, what is what that? Is that? What is that? Stop him! You can help him, please! Do something help my baby! What? Outside, please. Help him, would you? I must you ask you to leave him outside. Come on, go outside. He coughed up a mucus plug. Dr. Kishner suctioned it out with the tube. How are we going to know how? What are you going to do if that happens again? Honey, we will watch him very closely. I need to hold him, Angie. Please, I need to hold Dixie, my baby. Dixie, not now. Please, just let me feel him. Let him feel me. Listen, it would make such a difference. Listen to me. The doctor has not finished with him yet. Maybe later when he has settled down. Just let me touch his hand. Dixie, Dixie darling, you've had, you've had enough. I, I think you should, you should rest. I think I need to be with my boy. I, I'll stay with him. All right. You promise me you will not leave his side for a moment? I promise. He will have round-the-clock nurses. Okay. All right. Check with Dr. Kishner. I'll make sure it's going to be okay. I'll make sure everything's okay. Everything's taken care of. All right? Okay. Don't worry. All right. I need a wheelchair, Herb. Dixie, honey, you okay? Man, I'm so scared. And no, then, no, no, no. just calm down, okay? You take it easy. That baby's gonna make it. He comes from the right stuff. Believe me. Don't make it. Come on, sweetheart. Have a seat. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go. It's all gonna be okay. You drive careful, okay? I don't want to go. I don't want to go. If you cared about her as much as you say you do, you would leave her alone. Now, I want you to march back to your room. Or do you want to be carried by a few security guards? I'll go. Good, you better, because if you don't, I will know about it. a moment of your time. Now, uh, maybe you may uh, agree with everybody in town that I'm crazy for feeling a certain sense of responsibility for Dixie and her baby, but uh, that's not important. What is is that it, the baby is in trouble. It's obvious to me that uh, you didn't think it was the baby's time because he's still with us. And Grant always said that that's the way you took care of things, that everything had its time, its place, and that somehow all this fits into some pattern. Well, what I'm wondering is, uh, hoping is after all is said and done that that baby has a very long and happy life so innocent so tiny and his mama loves him so much see I think he deserves his chance at happiness just like anybody else 
Now I know I'm not telling you anything you don't know. And uh, I don't want to waste your time. But what I am saying is, Lord, I want a chance to see that baby grow up. Now I'm not going to try to con you and say anything stupid like, I'll straighten up and fly right if you give that boy a chance, if you let Dixie keep her son. But what I am saying to you is, I'll give it one hell of a shot. I'm sorry. Dixie. Well, that's why I'm here. She wants to know what's going on, okay? Keshner, just hold the other doctors in. Uh, they're doing something. It's hard to see what it is. Yeah. How's my son? Will he live? Where is Will? Why is he taking so long? Why doesn't anybody ever tell me what is going on? Will just left. I mean, he has barely had enough time to even get to the nursery, see? I'm just so scared. Don't be. He's gonna be fine. He has the most wonderful doctors looking after him. You should have seen him, lady. He was just so little, and he was so pale. I gotta know, I gotta know. Would you please just go and hurry them up, please? Of course. Uh, I'll go. You it's okay, you can both go. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Do you promise not to step one foot out of this room? Oh, yes, I promise, okay. Thank you. I just came from the nursery. I wanted to be born to tell you. 